Sometimes the way you constrain your geometry can present problems down the road when performing editing operations. Consider the case on the left, where we've drawn geometry and we have constrained these lines in such a way that we're using vertical and horizontal constraints. So now if we go to perform some sort of an operation like a rotate, we'll select the geometry, define the controlling point to rotate about, and as soon as we enter into the command, the constraint is smart enough to understand that, hey, wait a minute, as soon as you rotate this geometry, there's no way that vertical and horizontal can be held on these lines. So I either have to relax, ignore the constraints, or I have to maintain the constraints, leaving these lines vertical and horizontal and trying to rotate whatever geometry might be left over or not constrained. Uh, either way, you're going to get a result that is going to be either unpredictable, typically via maintaining the constraint, or you're going to lose constraints. So relaxing the constraints would look like this. Now the rotation definitely occurs, but please note how many of the constraints were actually lost. We still have all of our coincident point constraints, but all of the vertical and horizontal behavior has been lost. Now on the right hand side over here, this geometry, while being functionally equivalent, was created or constrained using parallel and perpendicular constraints. Therefore, when we go to rotate its geometry, performing exactly the same function as we did geometry on the left, these constraints are perfectly happy to rotate, and they're perfectly happy to maintain parallel and perpendicular control. No constraints are lost here, so no relaxation of the constraints had to occur. So that's a real good way to envision or examine how to draw in such a way that you will not have to worry about constraint relaxation down the road. Seems like the moral of the story is try to avoid absolute horizontal and vertical constraints unless you know for a fact that they will never be anything but horizontal or vertical. Try to stay with things like parallel and perpendicular constraints so that you'll have the flexibility to rotate your geometry around if the need arises. That's it.